Yo, what's up? Uh, start of this video might have went weird. I was having some weird lag, but it should be going now. All right, game beginning. Let's do this. Oh my God, it's the Scandinavian. What a nightmare. Uh, I'll go knight c3, and then that's line I don't mind so much. Forget what to do. Hmm. I think g3 is always okay. Some ideas of bishop f4. I had like an annoying losing streak where I was, I was moving too quick early on, so I'm going to try to make sure not to screw up too bad. Alright, so he's going to go for my d-pawn. I, I mean, you know, I always get some compensation for it. The question is how much. Well, I'm going to go for, I'm going to let him take the pawn. Oh, actually, I can take with the queen on f3, if he takes on f3, so then he can't go knight takes d4, because I have queen takes uh, b7, so, I don't know, maybe I should have went bishop f4 last move. Who knows, man, I might even go queen e1 and stuff, but probably it's too weird. Alright, let's think, if pawn takes pawn, he gets some pin at the end. What? Does he really? Let me think, folks. Let me think. D5 looks shaky after, like, E4. I don't I have a feeling I have something here. Let's, let's think. Like, pawn takes pawn. If knight takes, I can go queen takes queen. Alright, I'm going to just take it. I can even take with a knight at some point on, on D1. Alright, so I mean, I assume, oh, queen takes queen, I assume. I'll take with the bishop, I guess. Then we have to figure out what to do. Because he's like all developed. He's probably doing alright here. Uh, I'm going to just take him to rook d, oh wait, not rook d1, um, h3, and, ah! Uh, Actually, it's a little annoying. Maybe I won't take. Maybe I'll play like knight to d2. That's a little pathetic, though, because bishop b4. Maybe knight to d4, but then he has knight c4, bishop g5, knight b2, and then rook b1. I don't know. I want to play something active. Knight takes knight, bishop takes. It just looks like all of his pieces are posted like really well. I'm going to play this move, even though it's a little sketchy. Because, like, knight c4, bishop g5, he moves his bishop and attacks my knight. But whatever, I just want to have some active pieces. I, th I think I should be worse. <clears throat> you can take on g3, but it's not... I mean, just one pawn I can survive. Alright, I was going to play... I had some idea here. I was going to maybe move my knight. I have to move my knight. I can go knight e2, it's a little pathetic, though. I don't really know what else to do. Well, knight b3. If knight b2... It's kind of ugly. Hmm. Alright, I'll play this move, even though it's really disgusting. My position sucks. Oh my god. What a disaster. What a nightmare. Alright. Bishop c1 is like really disgusting. Bishop f6 though gives him like a clear advantage for no no risk. <sighs> Should I play bishop c1? Maybe bishop f4 actually. Yeah, that looks best. Because anytime he takes on b2, uh, I can go rook b1 now. And the b7 pawn. Oh, this works out okay for me. Uh, and then knight f4 to d3. Alright, if he takes with the rook. He might take with a knight. I'll go f3 then, and then king f2. Well, f3, bishop f5, attacks the c-pawn. Okay, this, this I'm cool with, because knight, knight d3 is like a little annoying. Oh, he can go rook d2 now. But I still have like knight d3, knight c5 ideas. I don't know, I can't tell how annoying it is. I'm gonna just play this and see where his rook goes. 
Like go B3 next move maybe. Zippy, don't do it. Don't you do it. Um, Rook E1 next move. I don't know, H3, Bishop F5. All right, all right, all right, Zippy, don't do it. Don't be bad. Uh, so if Knight C5, he just defends it somehow. If B3, Rook C2, okay feeling about B3. But then he just goes Knight A3. Rook E1, Rook C2. I'm going to play this move. I don't know that it's especially good. He's going to go like C6, and then I was thinking like B3, and going for some tricky moves. Like, uh, oh, I didn't even think about that. Is it good? Yeah, at least I can take this, right? I mean, he can go C5, but it's like hard to, to round up my knight there. Knight to B5 now? Or rook C1? Kind of like rook C1. Knight B5 also looks good, but this rook on the C file could be really nice. Alright, so now my pieces are actually posted well. Because uh, targeting C7 and some lines, whoa. Um, probably Knight B5. Threatening Knight D6, threatening taking C7. Suddenly, huge attack. How the hell did this happen? Alright, well, it did happen. Um, if, rook C, if Rook E7... I don't know, I want to go h3 someday just to get space for my king. I might do that next move, so I don't have to worry about it. Rook e7. Whoa. Uh, yeah, see, that's what I mean. It would have been nice if I already had gotten space for my king. I'll probably take with this. I'll take this with the rook, I think. Um, I was going to go h3. Okay. Uh, my rook's defended by two knights, so if bishop d7, I can just move the knight to d6. And, uh, you know, I have a big attack here. I guess knight to d6. I don't know. I mean, it should be good, but like... Not like super obvious what to do. Like knight takes uh, f f two. He has knight g four ideas. I really have to watch out for. I might go bishop f three. Slowly, uh, just stop that for the time being. Confuse him a little bit. But I mean, somehow his king's safe. It's unfortunate. Knight B7, Knight F7, Knight... Alright, I'm just going to do this. Ah, uh, now what? No idea. Probably this is very bad for me now. Holy crap, I'm losing. I'm going to take this, because... Maybe too late otherwise. Uh, he had made key four threats. I only have 29 seconds, which is not good. I can't believe this asshole escaped me after. It's just a little annoying. Uh, it's annoying because. I don't know, he was just in trouble, man. You know, bishop c6 coming, though. If rook d2, bishop c6, I don't actually see... Alright, whatever. Let's go for a draw. You know, I'm fast, dude. See, mother... 
worse this guy gets, man. You know, I'm fast enough to re trying to pre-move on me. I offer you a draw, dude. He didn't take it. That's what you get, buddy. Two pawns against two pawns, man. Take the draw. Um, I won the game. Uh, mainly due to him trying to win on time when he shouldn't have. Uh, he's not the fastest guy ever, so it was a... It was a sh risky decision on his part. And, hey, I win. He, I, I could see, you know, basically what I saw is he was pre-moving uh, on these squares. On like, oh, let me show you what I mean. He was he started to pre-move on these two squares here. I had a feeling he was just going e3, d3 back and forth. So I was like, okay, I'll go to d2. And yep. I mean, you you know, if you're not able to, if you're pre-moving and really not looking at my moves, you just gotta give me the draw because the chance of this happening is just too high. Um, this game, yeah, very. Strange what happened here. I uh, probably I shouldn't do this. You know what I think I used to play is bishop. No, I used to play like bishop c4. No, because then b5. I actually can't remember what I did in this in this particular move after a6. I used to have some ideas. <laughs> I, there was one move. Where I, there was one line where I would go g3, but I don't think it was this one. I felt like he got really kind of nice play here. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, he was just better here. Uh, it kind of went wrong when... Well, yeah, all this was weird. And now, I, I thought like, rook c1 was good. But, you know, I should probably try to throw in h3 at some point. I don't know. I think it's even. Bishop f1, how about that? Keep the knight on b3. Yeah, knight d3 was a good move, though. And there's actually, like, nothing clear here. Unfortunately, according to the computer. Uh, oh, sorry, my face is blocking the stockfish analysis. But yeah, I mean, it looks like his king's really shaky, but it's not easy to deal with it, and he's threatening rookie one check and bishop h3 and stuff. So, whatever. I won because of the blitz at the end. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye bye.